This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the James Six Market Wrap on a Thursday. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Six Financial Network. The Labor Department reported that jobless claims last week increased by 32,000 to a seasonally adjusted 516,000. That is the second highest jobless total since 1992. Commerce reporting that the trade deficit fell by 4.4% to $56.5 billion in September, the smallest in balance since October of 2007. The better-than-expected improvement reflected a 15.7% fall in petroleum imports. Meantime, OPEC members will be meeting in Cairo on November 29th for consultation on the oil market as oil prices continue their slide. Mortgage Bankers Association says consumers took advantage of lower mortgage rates last week with the pace of mortgage applications filed rising a seasonally adjusted 11.9% compared with the previous week. As the uh, government and industry scrambled to stem the housing crisis, almost 85,000 homes were lost to foreclosure in October. Last month, nearly 280,000 struggling borrowers received foreclosure filings. And Las Vegas Sands Corp will lay off as many as 11,000 workers after a cash crunch forced the company to halt construction on multi-billion dollar projects in the Chinese gambling city of Macau. Scheduled er uh, economic reports on Friday include the October import price index, retail sales for October, November's consumer sentiment, and the inventory number for September. In earnings today, Walmart said it earned $3.14 billion, or 80 cents a share in the quarter. Analysts expected 76 cents. Intel cut more than a billion dollars from its sales forecast and uh, dialed its profit expectations way back. Urban Outfitters' profit rose to $59.3 million, or 35 cents a share. That is in line with analysts' expectations. And BT Group PLC, Britain's largest phone company, Reported quarterly earnings rising 18%, but said it would slash 6,000 more jobs by March to keep costs down and maintain its profits. Earnings on Friday include J.C. Penney, Agilent Technologies, Hewitt Associates, Abercrombie & Fitch, Open Solutions, Beacon Federal Bank Corp, and Frontier Airlines. Some of the stocks in the news today, General Motors making it downgraded to neutral from overweight by J.P. Morgan. Siemens saying fourth quarter new orders rose and it confirmed its outlook for fiscal 2009. CB Richard Ellis Group priced a public offering of 50 million dollars, uh, 50 million Class A shares at 377, and Bristol Myers Squibb said it intends to launch a new working capital initiative, which focuses on increasing cash flow by 750 million to a billion dollars by 2011. And that is the market wrap on this Thursday. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network.